Oh, the night's been fantastic. We've had um, probably about 100 people, mainly a lot of the sponsors, um, and the key stakeholders in making this project a success. Um, we've had a great result with the two prize winners, uh, the Fresh Choice Folks Art Award winner and also the Paramount Art Award are over the moon with their cheques for one and two thousand uh, dollars. So the Fresh Choice uh, Folks Art Award finalists, so this was a, an award idea that Mark came up with. It's uh, we put it out there to everyone in the South Island to enter and they win a wine award label which is about, uh, about a thousand bottles of wine and uh, we had over 100 entries. So um, the winner is Indigo Life. Well, it's my first experience with the Art Expo and yeah, I'm just overwhelmed and really grateful for the opportunity to exhibit here and the support of the community. It's fantastic. As an emerging artist, it's just the best thing and I'm thrilled. I guess yeah, there really can only be, be, be one winner and, and uh, it's, it's a hard thing to to judge art, I mean, it's 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 so diverse, and, and um, you know what what one person likes, another person may not. But there was definitely one one clear winner tonight, and that winner was um, Daryl Gilbert from Christchurch. <laughs> Surprise, um, shocked, and and very excited. Um, it's it's and honoured really uh, to win amongst some of those other pieces that I saw um, hanging in there, I'm, I'm pretty privileged and, um, and thrilled. No, I'm, I'm excited <laughs> and shocked. <laughs> this event is in its second year. Uh, it's not possible to run these events without the great support of uh, sponsors and funders. And to give you an example, the Nelson Art Expo is, is very accessible for a huge amount of artists. We have 118 artists taking place this year, taking part. Uh, last year we had 98, so it's grown 20 artists. I think per head per capita we've got the highest amount of, of artists or artisans, people living off their art in, in, in any part of the country. And I think that's where the Art Expo showcases that and, and, and it shows the talent and it, and it shows the, 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 the skill and, and, and the diversity of, of what the region's got. I think business and art can work together. It's, it's not a, always a natural relationship. It needs to be worked on. Um, the art world and the business world are often polar opposites and you've got to find common ground. And I think um, if you get to know artists and know the people involved like Nick and the Art Expo people, and um, I think the business needs to not just buy into the art, but buy into the whole scene and be here and get to know the people and understand what it means to people instead of perhaps just buying something and putting it on the wall. Yeah, well the week's been hard. I mean we basically, uh, we've had about eight months of work behind this week and uh, we always collectively take a breath and think, oh, how's this going to work? Uh, and it's been great. We've, we've basically been working hard since Tuesday. Um, it's now Thursday. We're open tomorrow at 10am. All the work is hung. All the artists are happy. Um, all the sponsors are happy. The cafe's ready. We're primed and ready for it to happen.